I'm going to show you how you can go from having a photograph like this to getting this with no digital noise in the background and everything perfect. Hello everyone and welcome back to my in-depth look at TechSharp AI and today I am going to share two serious tips with you. Yes, my last video, I was a bit of an idiot. I went through this program very quickly and I now realized I made a few mistakes. So I'm gonna show you how you can go from having a photograph like this with a sheep's face, his ears, his nose, he's all out of focus, to getting this. With no digital noise in the background and everything perfect. So again, to go from this to this. And there's two tricks I'm gonna show you, so stick with me for the next couple of minutes. I'm gonna walk you through it. It takes about 60 seconds at the most to edit this photograph. So let's get into it, and I'm gonna go back to the start and show you exactly how I manage this. Okay, so, so here we are with our photograph. Bog standard image just brought into On1 Photo Raw 2023. And we're going to edit it in TechSharp first. And I'm going to edit it exactly the same way as I did the last time. And I'm going to show you the mistake I made. So if I go into Noise and Sharpening, and if I go to TechSharp AI, now what's going to happen here is it is going to apply the sharpening to the image. And as you can see, that works really well. That straight away, that is a massive improvement on the sheep's face. But the one thing you'll notice is there's a bit of digital noise, digital artifacts and whatnot popping up in the background, the out of focus background. So there's an issue there, right? So that's the first thing. So what I want is I only want the sharpening to be applied to the sheep itself. So to do that, it's actually really quite straightforward. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reset all here now again. So reset everything back to standard here now again. So we still have our completely out of focus image here now at the moment. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to layers and I'm going to select my layer and I'm just going to duplicate it. So give me a second. So that has duplicated my layer there now. So I've the top layer selected here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here to TechSharp AI again and we're going to apply that. So you might say, Kieran, what's so cool about that? You still have exactly the same effect. But now what we're going to do is we're going to apply that change. So now our top layer, the copy one, has actually been edited. So what I'm gonna do here now is I'm gonna click on this section here, which is our masking option. So once I click on that, and you see this mask AI. So you can see the mask itself, there is no mask on this image. So what I'm gonna do is on mask AI, I'm gonna select all, and then down here, there are these AI generated options, a bit like super select AI. It's after assessing the scene, it knows there's mountains in the background, there's natural foreground, there's flora and fauna. So I'm gonna select animal. So if I click select animal and click apply, now what you'll actually see here now is the animal isn't sharpened because I'm on paint out. You can see the animal is actually masked out. But what I'm gonna do is click on this and go back to paint in. And when I do that, now the sharpening has only been applied to the sheep. The background has none of that digital noise. So that's your first trick. Quite simple, really, really incredibly straightforward to do that. So when I mentioned earlier on, there was a second trick to getting this sharper and getting it better. You'll notice that the sheep is, is a lot better now. Be honest, it is, it is a lot sharper. It is, it, it, it's not pin sharp, but it's very close. The background is none of the digital noise. It's utterly smooth. So we have original background and we have a sharper sheep. So straight away, we're on a winning streak. Now, if I go back in here to tech sharp again, let's say, right? So this is our original tech sharp setting, as I was showing you there now. So that is our sheep, definitely sharper there now. As I go from one to the other, there is quite a bit of a difference there now. So this is the original sheep, and that's the background. And as you can see, when I slide this across, it makes, if we even look at the grass here, it makes absolutely no difference to the grass because I have the mask applied. So it's masking out the background. So it's only sharpening the sheep. So, um, what's the next trick? Now, this is something I stumbled across. It might, it might just stumbled across. It might just be a glitch at the moment. I'm using a Windows-based um, workstation here, so maybe it's just something Windows-related, but just to know it, and just for now, this absolutely shocked me. If you look at the detail in the sheep's face, it's really good. His ears are really good. 
But I did not expect this. In noise and sharpening, you can select classic, noise AI, tack sharp AI, or select both. I was messing, playing around with the software, and for fun, I said, I'm going to try both and see what the effect is, see what options I have, and see what I can control. I pressed on both, and look at this. Look how much sharper that is. Look at the eye. Look at the details around the eye. Look at the details on the ears. Look at the details in the hair. So if I just go back to Tech Sharp AI, that's Tech Sharp AI there now. So this is the this is the original. That's Tech Sharp AI right here now. And now if I click on both, watch this. Boom. Look how much sharper that eye is. If I just go back from the original, there now, to having both applied. That is absolutely mind-blowing. That, that really, you know, that's, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> so it could just be a glitch. Maybe this is how well Tech Sharp AI is actually going to work in the finalized version. As I say, this is only a beta copy. Right now, the user interface might change. There's a lot of things could possibly change in this as of yet. Performance hasn't been enhanced. The masking hasn't been enhanced as of yet. So, you know, just this is just to give you an idea. But that, when I was playing with this today and when I came across that, it absolutely blew my mind. So, if you're using other sharpening programs, like I say, Sharpen AI or something, it's going to sharpen everything in your image. So your background is going to be an issue. Whereas in this, you can just quite easily mask it out and then applying both Sharpen AI and Non-Eyes AI, all of a sudden you are getting an absolutely incredibly sharp image. And the point you have to remember here is I'm zoomed in at 100 here now at the moment. If I go back to fit, that is, look at that. That's the original and that's the end result. That is absolutely mind-blowingly good. So, yeah, that, 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 that's basically it. So, quite easy. All you have to do is create a copy. If I just click on apply for that there now for now. So, all I did is I created a copy. I edited the copy. And then I selected Mask AI. I clicked on Animal. So it automatically masked the animal. So only the animal was going to be sharpened. And it didn't create any of that digital noise or any of those digital artifacts in the background, in the naturally out of focus areas. So the one thing I wanted to show you here now is, let's say, even if I apply both in the, the no noise AI and tech sharp AI, I'm not getting as much of those digital artifacts in the background, but what I am getting is I'm getting in. Uh, artificially enhanced. Um, let's say if I go here to paint out. Uh, look at the trees. See the trees in the background? They're out of focus. Then this is coming sharp. This is coming sharp. This is coming sharp. This is coming sharp. All that grass there is just pin sharp and it's ridiculously sharp, right? But you can see straight away above here now. You can see that, that that is actually quite sharp. It's after superimposing that image and the rest is out of focus. So if I just go to Paint in again, so I'm just inverting my mask as such, and it's just going to be the sheep is in focus there now. So it is absolutely mind blowing how well that works. And yes, I know I, I, people are saying I'm I'm overly enthusiastic on my videos sometimes, but I just get really incredibly excited when I see stuff like this that saves a shot as well as that. So if I zoom in 100 there now, and you're going, that is ridiculously good. That is really ridiculously good. You know, if I go back to the original there now again, so that's the original shot, and that's the end result. Original shot and end result. So just to run you through that once more there now again, um, just for anyone who is uh, struggling, so what I'm going to do is reset all. So everything is back to standard here now, so at the moment. So what I'm going to do is just... It's a, normally you just click on your layers above here. So this is our starting image. So the first thing I do is create a copy. So I'm going to click on that and then click on duplicate here. And that's going to create a duplicate layer then. There we go. A duplicate layer. Just make sure that's selected. And then we're going to go to noise and sharpening. Sorry. Then we're going to go to noise and sharpening. Click on tech sharp AI. And that's going to apply our sharpening naturally. Now, 
as I say, we are getting quite a bit of digital noise in the background, and it is quite sharp, but it's not absolutely mind-blowingly sharp. When I clicked on both, it just went wow, and that was like so much better. Now, it, maybe it's just suiting this image absolutely perfectly, and it mightn't work for everything else. I've tried it in a few other shots, and it generally does. It does work, and it works better, so... Right, so now we've it applied, as you can see, we've all these weird digital, uh, what you call it, superimposed bits of tree on our trees in the background, and they look overly sharp, and it just looks wrong. So if we want to mask that out, all we do is we go up to our photo copy, which is the one we're editing here, click on that, and, oh sorry, I need to click on apply first. There's no point being stupid in this, you showed. Um, so, so what I do is click here, and now we have mask AI, so we just click on the section of blue here and select which one you want to mask. So click on Animal. So we click on Animal and click on Apply. Now, as you can see, the background is still overly sharp in spots and the sheep isn't sharp. So I just need to click on, instead of Paint Out, I need to click on Paint In. And that is now, that's letting our sheep come through at full sharpness and it's masking out our background. So that is our final shot. And that is absolutely amazing. And you can just do that so incredibly quickly and save a photograph as simply as that. So that's it for this video. It's a super short one. I'm going to get back into Super Select AI too as well because I want to talk you through that properly now too as well. The fact that I've had more time to use it and I'm going to talk about Mask AI in a small bit more detail too as well. Keyword AI and a few other things. So um, if you like the video, please like it. If you have a comment, let me know, or a question, or something else you want me to look at. And um, I suppose if you're not already subscribing, then please do. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks again, everyone. See you soon. And see you out there.